Sacramento was a, just a mecca for baseball players. A bona fide baseball town. The Bob Olivers and the Dusty Bakers and Steve Greens, I mean, Leon Brown, Curtis Brown. With a rich history of players. Jerry Royster, Danny Royster, and then Leron Lee, Derek Lee, and Leon Lee. Whose impact spans generations. Two sons that played college, one went on to play for the Seattle Mariners. Yeah. Have a uh, cousin, Greg Vaughn. And probably the greatest player of us, of all the guys, and Donald, I think, will back this up, was Milt Jackson, and he played football. And now the baseball greats are back home and on the diamond together. It's such a close kinship and relationship that the, the passion of this sport is really dying, especially when it comes to the black athletes in this sport. The group of ballers gear up for the second annual Honorary Negro League game. We tried to make the game reflect the Negro League, which consisted of uh, African American, you know, and Latin players. With hopes of teaching folks about a forgotten chapter in American sports. How we were not able to play with the white guys back in the days. We formed our own league and then played for like 50 years, you know, but just, just, uh, we were just resilient. While paying homage to the players who paved the way for them. Larry Doby was the second black player in the major leagues behind uh, Jackie Robinson. Absolutely the best batting coach I ever had. Among the star studded cast, former Negro League pitcher Don Porter. Well, I had a good curveball, you know, I had a little screwball. <laughs> a second generation player. I remember doing something that my uncles did that I always wanted to do, and then I was just, uh, I was just elated. I remember the first day, it was just joy. And Porter began his career at just 16 years old, the team's youngest player, which earned him the nickname Rook. Oh, I only played two years. I played one year for the New York Black Yankees, one year for Indianapolis Clowns. <laughs> Baseball was that thing that brought everybody together. And these barrier breakers are once again bridging the gap. We want to make it a community event. We want the community to buy into this game uh, uh, in the future. On and off the field. We're going to be honoring Bob Kendrick. We'll also be honoring Buck O'Neill and their foundation trying to get the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum uh, going, getting where they want to get. They're trying to get an educational facility going on there in Kansas City and uh, I want to help them out. Baseball in itself is like apple pie. It's, it's great. In Sacramento, Michelle Dapper, KCRA 3 News. And the honorary Negro, Negro League game is all set for Sunday at 1 p.m. at John Smith Field on the campus of Sacramento State with three-time World Series champ Dave Stewart. He's a special guest.